All right, ladies and gentlemen, hang on to your hats. I'm telling you, this one is going to be, as our good friend Marty O'Neill used to say, a barn burner. The Lightning Kid is to do battle with this lunatic that they, they, you're seeing in the ring right now. Sabu, oh my God, what is that? Oh, he went after the announcer. He's already chased Keith Douglas and referee Mike Diamond right out of the ring. Oh, for God's sake. Ladies and gentlemen, and, and not only does is this, is this guy a madman, look who he's got in his corner. Oh, that's that's the kiss of death right there, that, that bulbous pear shape. Oh, my word, this guy. The nephew of the original Sheik. Oh my. Well, for one of the few times that we've seen it here in the Twin Cities area, the Lightning Kid is actually getting the cheers of the fans as he does battle with Sabu. I mentioned the original Sheik, perhaps the craziest, most maniacal wrestler in the history of this sport. He's still competing. I don't know how old the man is. But he has been banned in more buildings than any wrestler alive. But his legend. Oh, what a shot by the Lightning Kid to the back of the head of Sabu. I was going to say the legend of the original Sheik goes back a little before my time, but I am certainly aware of his reputation. So if this is a family member, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I can, I can see the, the, the cuts on this guy already. The Lightning Kid, an outstanding competitor known far and wide, the former ESPN Global Wrestling Federation light heavyweight champion. Why don't you, we can see him, get out of here, Humperdinck, for crying out loud, you idiot. I, I know you missed it because you were being bothered by Santa Claus over there, oh my. but Sabu almost took a shot at Mike Diamond here. Crying out loud, I know Danny K died, but I didn't think he'd come back <laughs> looking like this. Oh, what a shot, Sabu, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at the kid. We got a slugfest right now. Oh, look at this. Spin kicks, karate kicks, savat, you name it. You're going to see it all in this one. These two young stars, I started to talk about the Lightning Kid. Of course, a former PWA Tag Team Champion. Rapidly establishing a reputation in the nation of Japan. Oh, look at this now. We have heard so much about Sabu. Now an opportunity to see him in person. He has inspired awe everywhere. He has appeared at this relatively young stage of his career. Great camera work by the crew from MTN. Taking you right into the ring. And a good look at Sabu. And Mick, this Sabu character, he's got that look about him. And I, I've seen it before on so many wrestlers. This is the kind of guy you, you wouldn't even want to say hi to. You just stay out of his way because he's going to plow right through you. Off the ropes, ducks the clothesline, does the kid over the top. Oh! What a maneuver! By the Lightning Kid, that is the kid that we know very well here in the Twin Cities. He about decapitated Sabu right there. And now the kid has the crowd all fired up. Nick, you and I have both have been watching the kid ever since he started. Three, four, five years ago. I don't know how it's possible, but he just keeps getting better. Whoa, but we're right on the what? table for crying out loud. Wade Keller, host of Pro Wrestling Focus, almost got his hand stepped on here at ringside. Wade with an outstanding program every Sunday morning on KFAN Radio 1130 here in the Twin Cities. The most respected professional wrestling radio program in the country. <laughs> Wade, you owe me $20 for that plug. We're joined at ringside, ladies and gentlemen, in close proximity by promoter Dennis Carluzzo, who has brought the National Wrestling Alliance to the Twin Cities. Certainly, we owe Dennis a great debt of gratitude. It was a long dry spell here. An absolutely fantastic card and a great crowd on hand to witness it here tonight. Now, Sam, what? what, what Holy cow! Over the top. Oh, good lord! 
pick. I thought he was going to land right on us. This guy is perpetual motion. Hit for the cover. Count of two. And Kent just able to kick out. Wow. That's the count of two. Sabu in with the side headlock. Mick, I want to move the table back here six or seven feet because I'm afraid I'm going to get hurt tonight. Let's go about six or seven. Oh, six or seven miles, Chris. There you go. The... I want to be at home watching this. Over the top, Lightning Kid. Oh, great maneuver. Great drop kick by the kid. Right on the button. You know, I've said it so many times, the Lightning Kid will show you more moves in five minutes than most pros will show you in five Absolutely. years. Absolutely. Oh, and another, There's another one. Oh, man. At this stage of his career and for his age, the Lightning Kid is way beyond his years. An awesome talent, as is Sabu, now being attended to by the walking hemisphere, Sir Oliver Humperdinck. Kid takes oh. the battle outside. Our cameras are staying right with the action. Tosses Sabu back into the ring now. Now these two, oh, wait a minute, right above us. I'm backing up. Oh, oh, my. Oh. Ouch. Boy, I thought the kid bought the farm that time. He landed right on his head after missing that maneuver in the corner. A oh, high elevation. Oh, what a boot. He caught him with the toe of the boot right between the eyes. Kid in on top. Oh, geez. Telegraphed it a little too much, and now Kid hits the ringside floor. And, and right near our microphone. I don't like this. Oh, what a maneuver! That somersault over the top onto the floor. And I think Sabu did as much damage to himself as he did to the Lightning Kid. Right in front of us now. This is where it gets a little bit hairy, Chris Dady. You get those track shoes on. Oh, well, I don't like Humperdinck being this close to the action here. I don't like Humperdinck oh. being in the same planet. Kid in amongst the ringsiders right now. Oh, man. Jeez. Good. I got to tell you something. These two are going to wind up in the hospital at the end of this one. Well, we have the medical crew standing right outside in case we need it, and I wouldn't be surprised if we do tonight. Promoter Dennis Carluzzo taking a close look for himself at what's going on. There may have been a serious injury here. The Lightning Kid very, very slow to regain his feet. Mick, I can't even see him. Is, is he moving at all? Well, he has just barely, he's gotten on all fours right now at ringside. I'm trying to... The camera, oh, wait a minute, Hubbard, he's got a hold of the kid. Oh, get him out of here. That's what we said. He's always, oh, Sabu took a shot at oh. Mike Diamond just as Hubbard was running the lightning kid into the ring post. That, get him out of here. That, oh. that fat slob, Hubbard, oh, look at all, he's just, he's sweating now. What a piece of work he is. The Lightning Kid taking some beating right now at the hands of Sapu. This match is everything we thought it was going to be, and then some. Well, obviously, his uncle, the Sheik, taught him very, very well indeed. And the kid just took a shot. Oh, the kid is, he is split wide open. Oh, my God. He oh. Is, oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, he's battling back. But, oh, this is. Oh, no. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Lightning Kid, ladies and gentlemen, is pouring blood at this point in the match. I don't know if our cameras can get a shot of that, but there is blood all over the floor, and more is... Oh, the kid, he, oh, he is Look at absolutely... That. He's pouring blood right now. We need to get some help oh, out my. here. Oh, my. Oh, I do not like the looks of this one bit. Oh, no. He's oh, hurt this, bad, Mick. He is, he is lacerated very severely, Chris. Oh, he... Oh, boy, I'll tell you, the Lightning Kid is as tough as they come, but he is in, 
he is in some trouble right now. Look at wow. Sabu. This could do it right here. Wait a minute. Oh. I'm not sure if the kid had enough to push him off or if Sabu just wants to inflict more punishment. Oh, what's he doing now? He's going for the second. Oh, the top oh. rope. Here we go. Oh. oh, he caught the knees. The kid brought the knees up. Does he have enough? Does he have enough reserve to battle back at this stage of the bout? Oh, that is an ugly gash, Chris. Oh, my. Oh, man. The kid is, he is fighting valiantly. What heart in the lightning kid. He's as tough as they come, Mick. The kid still mounted on that rope. How much can the kid have? I know he's giving it everything he's got, but he had to. Oh, look at him now. Right to the side of the head. There is blood absolutely all over the ring, Nick. Oh, the kid, he, he is in, in dire need of medical attention. I, I kid you not, he is in. Oh, look at the lightning kid. This is testimony to his guts. It's that simple. And now Sabu senses the oh. Man, I, you know, I, I'm getting sick looking at this, Chris. Oh! oh from the top rope. That's got to do it. That's got to do it. I don't care how tough you are. The loss of blood alone has got to take everything out of the Lightning Kid. Why, why isn't he going for the cover? Because he's sadistic. It's oh. that simple. He wants to hurt him. He wants to put the kid in the hospital and send a message. I guess that's it. I, I think he's going to do that anyway. Look at this now. Oh, the kid! He landed right on his head! Sabu from the top rope, some eight feet down to the canvas, landed right on the back of his head. These two have gone back and forth, and now Sabu may be out of it. He may be done. Look at the kid trying for the... Oh! Short leg drop with authority. And a second time, right across the jaw. Mick, you blink, you missed that move. All oh, feet over the ropes. I'm looking at the lightning kid's face, and I don't know how much more he can take. These two have gone back and forth. Oh, where do they get it? Where do they get the reserve? Oh, kid is, this may not be wise. In the physical condition I that he's in. I can't he's doing this. Oh, oh. Oh, man. Nick, well, he landed flat on his back. All oh, the kid is. He's Pardon me, like, wait a second now, Sambu. The kid drives oh. out. Oh, out of the floor. Oh, my. What a phenomenal matchup, ladies and gentlemen. What is kid going to do? What is I'm he going to do back now? Here. Oh, he saw that Sambu was waiting for him, as was Humperdinck. And wisely, he pulled up short. in the truck and here in the arena area. My crew as well up there. Absolutely. Paragon and Cable North Central fans. Oh, look at oh, my oh, my. Into the first row. Oh. What have these guys got left, Chris Dady? I can't believe this. And I, I... They are right in front of our friends, the Toops family from New London, Minnesota. Absolutely flabbergasted. This hasn't been a wrestling match. It has been a war. It has been absolute nuclear warfare. I, I know we've got the medical crew standing by. This the lightning kid is going to need stitches. Whip all the way across the ring into the opposite corner. Maybe taking too much time. Oh, oh he caught the referee, Mike Dime. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, what a 
is going on here? Oh! The kid hit him accidentally, but there was nothing accidental about that forearm smash from Sabu. What's happening here? Referee Mike Diamond is calling the foul. Oh, Hubbard, and get out of the ring! ring. We need to get some help down here. Oh, they are double team on the Lightning Kid. Oh, oh a boot right to the head. Oh. This is sickening. Come on, Stan Ganya, get in there. They are double teaming. This, this, this is a wife for Stan. Oh, oh, oh. Stan Ganya. Oh, come on. Oh, Lord. The Lightning Kid is at the mercy of Sabu and Oliver Hubbard right now. We need some help down here. Here comes Jerry Lynn. Gentlemen, Jerry Lynn is no gentleman right now. He's got the chair. Oh, now Sabu and Jerry Lynn going at it. Oh. He's dismantled Jerry Lynn now. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, this is, this is something. Here's Jerry again. Kid. Oh, my. Oh, my. Mike Diamond has ruled this out of no contest. Both, ref both wrestlers assaulted Mike Diamond. As we said, the Lightning Kid accidentally cross kicked him. Nothing accidental about the core up from Sabu. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming back. How we're going to top it, I don't know. Oh, my God. From the American Indian Center. We need some help down here. Wow. Are we back? Okay, we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, at the American Indian Center here, we have just seen Sabu and the Lightning Kid in one of the most brutal matches I have ever seen. You can see in the ring right now, Jerry Lynn and the Lightning Kid. Jerry Lynn had to come to the aid of the Lightning Kid as Mick Cars comes back to ringside here. And in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen, I have been told, let's alert our camera crew. We're gonna interview Sir Oliver Humperdinck and Sabu. Stay with us. still rolling here but we can see the kids standing right behind us oh what they're, they're going all over the room I don't know if our cameras can keep up with this they're going absolutely all over Well, promoter Carluzzo is training. Here we go again. We're going to keep our cameras rolling here. 
As we try to get some sense of order here, Lightning Kid busted wide open. We're going to try to get an interview. Let's turn it over here to Mick Karsh now.
opinions are important to us. To comment on this program, call the Northwest Community Television Viewer Response Line at 533-1710. Thank you.